On the 9th of August, the Parliament passed the Deposit Insurance Credit Guarantee Corporation Amendment Bill. Now, this amendment allows depositors of a stressed bank to access their insured deposits within a time-bound manner. Let us try and understand what exactly has changed with this amendment and how depositors can access their funds if their banks were put under a moratorium by the Reserve Bank of India. The first question to answer here is what is the DICGC exactly? Now it is a corporation which is fully owned by the Reserve Bank of India and it ensures deposits across a whole gamut of banks up to rupees 5 lakh. For this, it collects an annual premium from the banks and makes the payments whenever it is required. The amendment, of course, also allows for a higher premium to be charged to these banks of 15 paisa per 100 rupees of deposits as compared to the previous premium of 12 paisa per 100 rupees that was charged uh, to the banks. Before this amendment was passed, of course, the DICGC could only make the payments if a bank were to be liquidated. And typically, this would take anywhere between 8 to 10 years from the point of the RBI putting it under moratorium. This amendment now allows the DICGC to pay up to rupees 5 lakh, which is the insured amount uh, within a 90 day period after the introduction of the moratorium. Now, let's try and understand what exactly is the process here that is involved. Once the RBI introduces the moratorium, the bank has 45 days to collect a list of depositors, uh, the names as well as the amount that is due to them and submit it to the DICGC. The DICGC then in the next 30 days uh, will try and verify this information and confirm from uh, the depositors whether they want to access their funds in full, uh, the insured funds or not. Once they have collected this entire uh, information within the 30 day period, they have 15 more days uh, to go out and make the payments to the depositors. And this can either be done in the form of cash or it can be a bank transfer uh, to the customers into a bank account of their choice. Now, remember that the DICGC amendment bill only covers deposits up to 5 lakh rupees. So anything more than that, if a depositor has deposits more than 5 lakh rupees, uh, they will have to wait for the remaining amount they will have to wait uh, to know the eventual fate of the bank whether it is rescued by some other lender or whether the bank is going to be liquidated uh, under the RBI's rules all of these things will become clearer as time goes by but for the first 5 lakh rupees of course the amendment bill allows the depositors to be paid in full thank, thank you so much for watching